Welcome to Crossfire with your host, Cucker Tarlson. In third day, a man known for exposing. I identified the lies as a gerbil. Of the right wing <laughs> idiot media over at Fox News. It was without my God given right. A walrus pressure. is a fish. Tearing those bigots. And let's not kid you yourself, folks. <laughs> They're all bigots. I don't care limb what from saying. limb. Exposing the bigotry of Donald Trump and his supporters. He's a Nazi. Exposing himself on command. He's literally now, here. here he is. Fair and chemically imbalanced. Cucker Tarlson. Hello, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here tonight. I don't like to usually, I usually don't like to get angry like this, but I'm just so angry I can't hardly even talk. Boy, I'm steamed. Uh, I have been called a lot of names in my time. I've been called Fissy Boy. I've been called a panty waste. A waste of human panties. I've also been called names I'm not proud of. But I will not stand for lies, folks. A a and this is one word the, the morons on the right wing have been calling me the complete idiot lying bigots. They've been calling me divisive. I am not divisive, okay? And anybody who disagrees can take a long walk off a short pier into hell. You bastards. I'm not going to be called names by you pieces of crap. I'm sorry to cuss like that. I'm sorry to get angry like that. But I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of Donald Trump. I'm tired of his supporters. I'm tired of their... I mean, they're crazy, insane. He's a dictator, folks, okay? He's a tater dick. A dictator. Sorry. Donald, let me tell you something about Donald Trump, okay? He is a warmongering, murdering monster who spent more money on war and weapons of mass destruction than any other president beforehand. And let me tell you another thing, too. This is the important thing to know about Donald Trump. Donald J. Trump murders babies, okay? He hates babies. He hates children. He murders them. He, he, he murders them even... I mean, he, he murders a million babies a year, maybe even more than that, through abortion. It, it, I mean, he just, he does so much baby killing, it might be a trillion, I don't know. But let me tell you something. Um, aside from all the abortions, let's talk about the bad things that Donald Trump does. I mean, he tries to take away a woman's right to choose. He walks up and grabs them by their, ooh, private parts. And, and, and his interior decorating skills are quite unremarkable. I mean, have you ever been to uh, some of his Trump uh, hotels? I know I won't go now, but I, I just, he just gets me so triggered and upset. I'm sorry, but I, I, I just need to go into a safe space for just a moment, okay? Give me one moment, I'm just gonna meditate in my safe space. Mmm, Kumara, mmm, Kumara, um, I'm just humming to the universe, the universe of all or no deities. No. Okay, I'm feeling a little more relaxed and relieved right now. Point of personal privilege again. Donald Trump's piece of crap garbage butt. His white fat butt. I mean, you know how, much, how often this guy golfs? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just losing a little momentum here. Um... I mean, and, and the guy, he rapes. You know how many women he's raped? He's probably raped. I don't know. I can't confirm this, but I guarantee you he has sexually assaulted 15,000 women and probably raped 1,500. I mean, it, it, it's disgusting. He does have a low rape to sexual assault ratio. I, I mentioned this earlier. You know, he's against the LGBTQ plus NAMBLA community. And uh, he doesn't want uh, he, you know, he... Uh, I mean, listen to like, his followers, like Alec Jones, talking about uh, transgender uh, story time with transgender persons coming and reading stories, innocent stories to little kids, and then they they, they lie about them in the media and say that they're uh, that they're convicted pedophiles and child molesters, when not a word of that is. Um, I I never found it to be true. I don't know that to be true. I I didn't see it. Did you? Were you there? Did you? Go to the story time and 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 listen to it. Did you see fat, big fat bellied goblin, pot bellied goblin men, uh, in clown makeup? I didn't see it. 
And he attacks women. Let's get back to this, this point. I'm getting... You're getting off topic here. I believe in a woman's right to choose. Whether it's to get an abortion or to, you know, uh, choose whatever kind of nail polish she wants to wear or choose which one of her, her sex slaves that she has put her toenail polish on and apply it while she prepares to go out on a date with her boyfriend. And if a woman chooses to, uh, you know, have a husband and be married and sleep with other men, so be it. And if she wants to abort the baby or raise it, uh, you know, and make the man raise another man's baby. I think it's a woman's right to It's a woman's world, folks. James Brown is a liar. And I hate to refer to an African-American as a liar. And, you know, shame on me for even noticing color. But, I mean, he... Talk about someone who really doesn't tell the truth. James Brown, flush it down. In our next segment, I have another personal point of... A point of personal privilege I'd like to address. A very interesting topic, because I think it's something we really need to talk about. And that is the amount of racism going on in the world. The world is so full of racism, whether it's racist cops, or racist elderly ladies, or racist children. Uh, but I, here's the one that they don't ever talk about. Racist animals. Consider for one minute the walrus with his big white tusks, much like the elephant. He shows them off shamelessly. Big white tusks showing off his animal kingdom privilege. His white tusk privilege. And, and don't kid yourself, folks. I mean, look at the arrogance of the walrus. The way he moves, the way he flaps his flippers around. I mean, it's disgusting. It's shameless. It's embarrassing. And, and people try to categorize the walrus as some kind of uh, mammalian creature. I'm here to tell you, the walrus is a fish, okay? The walrus is a fish! I don't care what you say! I, I'm, I assert that and that is my God-given right. I identify him as a fish! And, you know, I agree also with the right to identify. When I was in third grade, I identified as a gerbil. And that was my right, too. My God-given right to identify as a gerbil. I mean, I frequently would uh, get in a little wheel and I would exercise and and sometimes I would find myself stuck up grown men's behind. That's normal, it is. It's what every kid goes through in third grade. It was a phase. I identified as a gerbil. I no longer identify as a gerbil. Therefore, you don't have to call me a gerbil. But I do have gerbils. But anyway, um, we were talking about a woman's right to choose. And we were talking about racist animals. And I am trying to read off a cue card right now. And my producer won't, won't provide me with good help. Consider the little raccoon, little racist raccoons, running around, stealing people's garbage. And you know what, what their name, it's assigned to a certain community. It's, it's, it's racism. And the raccoons are in collusion with the KKK to call uh, African Amer Afro Americans, I can't even say this word, um, C O O N S. -s. And it's, it's disgusting. You have racist walruses, waste, racist raccoons. I'll tell you another racist animal racist little kitty cats. Racist little kitty cats and racist puppy dogs going to little white families while pit bulls always end up uh, in, in the Afro American community. Uh, and then they're used in dog fighting, and then, uh, oh, I'm not stereotyping there. Um, <clears throat> and then they end up adopted by, uh, middle class little white ladies who make them wear sweaters. And that's not right. It's not okay. There's the racist animals out there, and people don't really, ra prairie dogs are racist. Um, caterpillars are very racist, I'm here to tell you. Don't kid yourself, folks. Caterpillars are racist little shits. And, um, I would say the honey badger is probably not racist. He really doesn't care. But, uh, anyway, there are racist animals, and, and it, it, this is something that needs to be addressed. Oh, and another thing. In other news, everyone's jumping down AOC and the squad's throats. That whether, whether in regard to their conversation with uh, other Democrats or just their general behavior. But let me tell you, AOC is what this country needs. 
and she recognized that the problem with racist cauliflower and other racist vegetables, and I'm, I'm telling you, it's like, it's like a metaphor, folks. It's a metaphor, people. And that, that, that the squad, I'm gonna defend them. I'm gonna defend them. And you know what? Nancy Pelosi is a right-wing, bigoted, conspiracy theorist, racist person. And I, we shouldn't be standing for, for her. She's a radical, right-wing, conservative, crazy. And AOC, you know, she's, she, I, I wouldn't say she's, that she's conservative. She's just liberal enough, I think. And she's a sweet girl, and she's a great dancer. And also, you know, uh, down with the terrorist state of Israel. I mean, not, you know, sorry, that's not, I don't mean that, I'm sorry. I guess I was just trying to, to come up with another uh, point of personal privilege that, uh, uh, you know, I, I like, I'd like for people to stop addressing each other in gendered language. And, but I, there, I know of no other way to say it, but my wife has a boyfriend, okay? And, uh, and I, 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 he gives me a lot of confidence. I like him. He's a friend. He's almost, we're almost equals. Except when I, when I uh, serve him saucers of more milk to the both of them before they go to bed. And I go sleep in the doghouse. But, um, I, I've been really jealous regarding her, an issue with her boyfriend lately. Because she has been seeing other men, other lovers, and yes, there are pros to this, but one con is she is not treating Jamal properly. And I don't appreciate it, and Jamal uh, doesn't, uh, you know, I don't know if he really cares too much, but I I'm jealous for him, because I like Jamal, because he stopped making me wear the t-shirt that said sissy on it, and uh, I like the shirt, but I also appreciate the, the uh, kind gesture on his part. You know, people really aren't tolerant enough or liberal enough. And, uh, and it's one area this shows up I'm seeing is when transgender people are having babies. I think transgender persons should have babies. Men, sh men should have babies. Um, and, and I, I don't say transgendered men because they are, they're always been men, but they still should have a baby come out of their womb. And if they want to abort a baby, a transgendered man should be able to abort a baby. I don't know where, uh, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just, I think people are not sensitive enough to this trans movement. Recently, I was told by, by uh, the person I'm going to have on as a guest here really soon about something very interesting. I've heard of this before. It's where you slice off your arms and legs and you're just a stump, just a stump of the head. And they, they will, they do this down in Mexico, apparently. Um, they turn you into a nugget. They call them a nugget. And they, there's even the th a thing called nugget porn where they shoot men having sex with uh, a person who's, who has been accosted in this way. Oh, well, that's not the proper word. Shame on you, Cucker. It's, um, but I, I think I would be interested in being a nugget. A little nugget be carried around in a wagon and you could dip me in sauce. You could put me in sweet and sour sauce or honey mustard or barbecue or whatever your choice would be, and just lick the nugget. Lick the, the little cooked nugget. They could even put you in an oven and cook you at the end of it all after they peel your eyes out. But um, I think that would be appealing. I think, you know, nuggets are people too until we kill them. And I don't, didn't know, didn't know Mexicans were known for their nuggets, but apparently I'm stereotyping. Now my next guest, is a radical right-wing conspiracy theorist, Alec Jones, and we're here to discuss uh, an issue that's come up recently, and that is uh, transgendered baby reveal parties. Alec, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, testies, testies, one, two, three. That's oh, that, about right. That's correct. Uh, I'm here. First of all, I want to talk about uh, my my products, Super Macho oh, Pill. Oh God. And uh, hang on a second. Hang on. And uh, and colloidal silver that Alec. I'm selling here on my website. But uh, once I get past those, well, not plugs, but you know what I mean. Uh, I, look, I didn't uh, bring public, here. Public service announcements uh, to save everybody's lives because that's what my products and my supplements do. Oh, sure. Uh, but, <laughs> but, you, you keep cutting me off here, Cut. Tired of it. Hey, listen, listen, okay? I brought you in here to discuss uh, what, how you would have a, tra if you have a transgendered baby, how do you handle the gender reveal party? 
How does? How, how, how do you know? I mean, you know, how, well, you could ask the baby. You know, how, do you know how the baby identifies himself? Well, we don't know and, yet. He you know, is it, does it identify as a boy? Does it identify as a girl? I mean, I'm just trying to play what is it? along with your stupid game here, cucker. What? You know, you don't. All right. You don't I mean, to, none of this makes sense. You, you don't have to name call Alec, okay? All right. I mean, you don't have to, to speak to me like that to be yeah. disrespectful. Yeah. First of all, I'm just talking your language. should at least ask the baby before they chop his private Ask off. the baby. They should probably at least ask the baby do you it, think you're a girl? You think you're a boy? The baby ain't even born yet. What are you talking about? I mean, what are you going to stick your uh, stethoscope up to the womb and well, try to... that's a good idea. What, it's going to make like sonar sounds Ooh. like a whale or something? Like a dolphin? Like... <laughs> I mean, what, what do you expect? You're going to like Morse code SOS its name out to you? Or its gender to you? Or smoke thing. Well, what the heck are you talking about? What the Sam Hell? I don't understand you. It, well, if the mother was a smoker, maybe a smoker. they could like... Get the baby to send some kind of smoke signal. What? Like an Indian. Oh, my God. Or, I'm sorry. First Nations person. Yeah, yeah, get it right. Native person to America. No. Not me. With my stupid, white, privileged, ignorant me, butt. You make me sick. You know, people like you make me sick. Oh Traitors to your, your race, your race? God, your country. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, Racist. you know, you got a right to be Racist. here, buddy. We've been here since before 1776. We'll be here. I'll tell you, you try to take my guns away. Oh, gosh. Or name my baby something with a smoke signal. You make before me want a chance to try to chop its wiener off or give it some kind of hormones. I ain't going to put up with it. You're putrefying. 1984 ain't happening, buddy. The answer is 1984, 1776. Oh, get off of Buy me. my colloidal silver or my super macho pill. Oh, nice plug there, genius. Yeah, uh, also, I'd like to throw out there... Uh, Steve's plug and plug and pour him is the number one plug and plug and pour in the tri state area. It. Uh, that's another plug that is, uh, about plugs. That is enough, Alec. Stop plugging things on my show. Okay. I only right. have one kind of plug allowed in my house. Last one. You know what kind of plug that is. Oh, gosh. No. I'm not going to say it. Yeah, you better not. You little but weak. I have been called a butt plug before. Okay. That's so disgusting. anyway, uh, another issue here that uh, we need to look at is the topic of euthanasia. Alec, if you'll stick around, we can discuss this topic peacefully and civilly as well uh, and of course that was not sarcasm I, I don't think we should have euthanasia okay I, I don't I don't okay I mean look there China's got enough people as it is what? and the Chicom's trying to take over here and I don't oh, think we should have euthanasia God. and I certainly don't think we should have euthanasia in America I have to pee. maybe euthanasia in Asia but not in America we're, we're not talk Alec we're talking about euthanasia is a practice I actually have to agree with in perfect. certain circumstances of, of uh, assisting people in there, and especially when you're dealing with the elderly, you know, the you. sick, the indigent, and the Republican. That we, oh, we God. Should have, I think we, I think we should have Republican uh, euthanasia for all Republicans. Any registered Republicans, we line them up and we yeah, give them... Yeah, Hitler did that. Uh, whether it's Zyklon B or, or whatever kind of uh, you piece of trash substance just, we should just, give them. Hey, Listen, you, let me speak, no. sir. This is my show. Nah, I you, demand to be heard. Yeah, you suck. Per point of personal privilege, I demand to be heard. Yeah. I am. I may be navel litten and toe jammed to my wife, but I still demand to be heard in a whiny voice. Yeah, wish in one hand and no, do. No, no, you don't. You know what? The do other. That. You. Listen. Okay, I'm listening, sissy boy, but so far you ain't said nothing sissy other than we ought to kill Republicans and take them out and kill them. You want to take my family, my wife, my Jewish kids and kill me, Hitler, you Nazi? Oh, this sensory overload is triggering my uh, anxiety. Grow up, you need to stop doing it. Stop talking to me this way, Mr. You Jones. You pussy. You demon, you devil. Don't you dare call me a Nazi. You're Satan. I am not a Nazi. Get me back. I'm not I'm a Satan. Nazi sympathizer, and I sure as heck am not Adolf Hitler. Yeah, Sam, looks like it. he had some really good facial hair ideas. Oh, God. I will say that much about him. Why don't you go take it? His a... mustache was bold and brilliant. Why don't you just take a shotgun and blow your stupid liberal brains on the back of the wall on your... Oh, God. Yeah, yeah that's what I there. thought. That's what I thought. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Say it to my face. I will. Say it to my face. I'll get Jamal, my wife's boyfriend, and oh, kick geez. your butt. You're just mean and vile and vicious. I'll, I'll punch his lights out. You know, I, it kind of turns me on a little bit, uh, but I'm going to resist that. Sick freak. Because I have been seeing a Buddhist, which you're. is another old joke that we've used. I'll talk like to Jesus Christ. That's all I ever do. We're not kidding. We're serious. 
I have been meditating. I have all Kumra, Kumra, Kumra. Get behind me, Satan! And getting in touch with the universe. You did it. I'm here to tell you that I'm spiritually becoming one with the universe. You're one with and you're something. You're not gonna get me down. And we're gonna leave. And we're we're coming back next Good. week. Good. But I'm gonna kick him off here for a minute. Bye. So I can compose myself. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're leaving the show today. We're gonna leave you with this. Um, this has been Crossfire with me, your That's host, Cutter Tarleton, and uh, Crossfire. Next week, tune in. We've got Sane Kathy. We have Sane this Kathy Aru coming onto the show. And uh, just one last point of personal privilege: uh, if someone leaves a uh, someone in the bathroom left a big floater, please flush it and do not throw uh, napkins in the toilet. It will clog the toilet. Thank you and good night.